What's up everyone, Lance Hedrick here. And today I'm gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm gonna pit in a blind taste test, the Niche versus the Sete 270. Now, before we continue to do this test and kind of compare these two grinders, I would like for, I'd like to ask if you would take just a couple seconds, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notifications, you know, whatever it might be. You can even leave a comment right now of saying, Lance, you rock. I would love just a hundred comments of Lance, you rock. That'd make me feel so good. But uh, anyway, today we're gonna do a little side by side. So it's no secret that the Niche Zero is one of the hottest grinders on the market. It has been for years now. It's always sold out. It's, you know, it's not the cheapest grinder. It's, uh, and, but, for, but for good reason. The workflow on it is, is incredible. The 63 millimeter Mazer burrs in it are just fantastic it's from the Mazer Kony. Um, it is very low retention. Uh, and it, it's, just, it's just a really nice grinder. It looks really nice. It's compact, it's sleek, and it's not very loud at all. And it's very intuitive. You just turn it on, turn it off. It has a slow bean feeder inside. Overall, it is a fantastic conical grinder. But for a lot of us out there, it is way out of our price range. Depending on where you're at in the world, uh, the prices vary greatly. You can maybe find it in some places around the world at about 800 US dollars, all the way up to, I've heard people reporting 12, 13, 14, 1500 dollars, depending on where they're at. So it's not a viable option for many people. So I wanted to see, and this is something I've been thinking about for a while, I wanted to see how the Sete 270, which is a much more affordable grinder, how that stacks up to the niche. Now for, I've never done it side by side. I've never done, I've never pulled shots, dialed in the same way and tasted the same coffee, dialed in exactly the same. I've not, I've not done that and seen how the Sete stacks up. But from like memory, whenever I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I think the Sete could stand up to it. So I wanted to put it to the test. Before hitting the camera on, I dialed both of these grinders in on a, uh, on a natural Ethiopia coffee. I dialed them both into 20 grams in, 50 grams out in 28 seconds with a second, seven second pre-infusion. All right, so they're both dialed in to exact same parameters. And so during this, I'm gonna taste both of those uh, and, and do it two or three times just to see if they're super close, if I choose one over the other or if it's consistently I'm choosing one. But we're gonna do that three times and we're gonna see how that, uh, how that plays out. Now. I do want to note there are obvious, you know, if 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 you have the means to do the niche, um, uh, something to take into consideration is just how loud <laughs> the sete is, and the fact that there have been issues with the gearbox, people having to replace them. But the great thing is, is this customer support at Sparata is fantastic, and they're typically very responsive to get the fixes out to you because they truly believe in salvaging all their equipment. So they're going to help you salvage your machine. So if you have the means to do the niche. Of course, uh, I, even without tasting them, I'm going to say, you know, it, it, it is worth it for some of these some of these upgrades. For instance, the workflow is much better. Uh, even though there's very little retention on the Sete, there's, I think there's even le less um, on the Niche. Uh, it's, it's, it's prettier. And the biggest thing for a lot of us is that it's much, much quieter. So here's the Sete. Here's the Niche. Now, some of the big differences that are gonna be happening inside the actual grinding is that the Sete has, I believe, 38 millimeter conical burrs, whereas this one has 63 millimeters. So there's much more surface area for cutting and crushing in the niche. The RPM is much higher in the Sete than it is in the niche. I believe the niche is like 330 or so, and this is over a thousand. So they are built completely differently. So it's not like you have uh, the same thing going on just with smaller burr set. You have a faster speed. Um, also, another interesting thing is on the sete, what is rotating is the actual collar, not the cone. Whereas on the niche, what's rotating is the cone and not the collar, okay? So, uh, so there's, these are very different grinders and how they're set up and how they're uh, produced and in, in accessibility. All right, so that's, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get to the blind testing. I'm going to pull two shots. I'm gonna stir them very, very well. And so that it, you know they're both about the same temperature, and then I'm going to have my um, camera guy come on, switch them up, and we're going to see if I have a specific preference or if they taste very similar. Um, and we're going to do that three times. Uh, this is not a perfect test, obviously, but I do think if they tie each time, or if the sete wins, or if it's close each time, I think that's a good indicator about the quality of this cheap grinder. Uh, well, relatively speaking, cheap grinder. And so, you know, that's all I'm really trying to get across is if this uh, being almost triple, some, some places quadruple the price, 
I think it should be able to blow out of the water something that is this low priced. So I think it will kind of reveal if the niche is truly worth that much uh, or if it's a lot closer call than people kind of expect. Of course, you do have to weigh in the noise of the sete, which is kind of annoying, but you know, I use it for a year and a half before I add anything else. It's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna clap my hands and we'll have both shots ready and prepared. And all right, so I've pulled both shots. I have the one for the sete in front of the sete, the one for the niche in front of the niche. I'm gonna give them both a really intense stir. That will help to equalize the temperature. It'll help break down whatever crema is there. So we'll do that. All right, that's stirred really well. Let me rinse this off. Wipe, wipe, and we're gonna stir this one really well. So again, I pulled both of these 20 in, 50 out, and right at 28, 30 seconds. All right, now I'm gonna have Jason come on. Let me wipe off anything that could give me distinguishing characteristics of the cups. All right. All right, now I'm gonna turn around. And so he's gonna remember which is which, Sete 270 versus the niche. Then we're gonna see which one, um, if, I mean, if they're close, if I automatically prefer one over the other, and I'll describe what I'm tasting. All right. All right, so we have our two cups here. Don't know which is which, so what we're gonna do is take a little tasty taste. All right, let's do this. Okay. That one's one's pretty nice. It's a little it's a little uh, drying on the finish, but it has uh, a lot of bold fruits. It's pretty juicy. The body is not as um, is not as full as I would want it to be, but it's not uh, it's not thin. Let's see. Okay, it's actually a very similar profile. If anything, I would say. This one might have a little less drying of a finish, but the intensity um, of that sweetness is absolutely there. The body is pretty compar uh, co uh, com comparable, but I'm gonna take another sip just because this is my first, so I'm gonna take a second, then I'll start with this and go back to this. All right. Okay. There's just a ton, it's a lot of uh, like fermented grapes, uh, some like baking spices. Okay, so I think I have my submissions for this first round. Um, I think this is the niche and this is the sete. This one just seems to have a little bit more of a full, um, a full roundness to it. It's a little bit more balanced, uh, but overall they're actually quite similar. Um, and just FYI, before I turn on the camera, well, actually, let's do the reveal first. Was I right or wrong? Correct. <gasps> Correct. Okay. Um, they were very close, though. Before before turning the camera on, I did have, uh, when I dialed them in, I had my camera guy, Jason, taste them both, and he actually preferred the Sete uh, Espresso. So, just saying. Um, okay. So, I'm going to wash these out, and I'm going to have two more shots pulled, and we're going to do it yet again. And... All right, so I just pulled my second round of shots. And again, I have the niche in front of the niche. I have the sete in front of the sete. And this time I ground the niche first. Uh, last time I ground the sete first, just to switch things up. So I'm gonna give them good stirs and then I'm gonna have Jason do the swaparoo. So let's do some stir, 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 stir. Really break the crema up. We'll say the crema does look kind of very similar. I would say if I gave the edge to either one, it might be the niche, but they're very similar. And the niche was pulled first, so maybe it's just kind of crust it up a bit and looks darker and thicker, but I don't know, who knows. All right, so the sete is nice and integrated. Wash this off, doo -doo -doo -doo. and here's this. Really breaking that crema up. All right, now I'm gonna just, again, any kind of spills I made while stirring, I'm gonna wipe off so there's no identifying things. Nothing I can do to cheat. All right. Wipe that off. And don't worry, I'm the only one sipping from these, so you know, this may look gross. <laughs> it's for me. Okay. So no identifying. Bubble's gone. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's switch it up. Round two. Let's see if I can keep up my, my streak. And again, we're doing 20 in, 50 out in right around 28, 30 seconds. All right. So here we have both shots. 
and let's see. Okay, that one just um, tastes a smidge thinner than maybe the last uh, round when I had the niche on the last one. This one has uh, a really extreme, like this th this time around, the grape in it is extreme though. It's like very prominent. The grape in this is more subdued, it has a bigger body though. <clears throat> um, the sweetness is not as much there, but uh, it has a, it definitely has a velvety body. Now, I have a guess for my first go round, mainly because the body is the biggest difference here. I would say clarity of flavor is heavily on this side and body is heavily on this side. So I'm gonna guess based off of the body and how it correlates to the first round. That's how my mind is working. I'm guessing this is the niche. No? <gasps> Okay, well, this time around, the sete has uh, a little bit bigger body. The niche had much more clarity of flavor. All right, so I got uh, number two, number round two wrong. Uh, but anyway, let's go with one more round. I'm going to clap, and we're going to have the third round ready. All right, so we have round three. Just got them pulled. The niche is in front of the niche. The sete is in front of the sete. Now we're going to do the rapid stirring. Wash, wash, wipe, wipe, and rapid stir. All right, now I'm going to wipe off any distinguishing characteristics from splashies. Wipe it off the rim. All right, let's do it. Which is which? Who can tell? I'm gonna guess or I'm gonna fail. All right, All right here we go. Got two espressos here. Let's try it. I'm gonna be so over caffeinated. Try it again. Okay. Okay, so from that last one, the one that had better clarity was the niche. So this time, instead of thinking about body, because it seems to oscillate, I'm gonna go based off of clarity. And right off the bat, this one has higher clarity. This is the niche. Correct. Boom, okay. All right, so conclusion time. Both of them are giving off, uh, uh, it's honestly shot to shot on the body. Um, they, neither one of them were super consistent in all three shots, even though I had the, the grind exactly, I weighed to a tenth of a gram, exactly 20 grams. Um, that there was quite a big oscillation in the time it was coming out, when I, which I think is affecting the body. Um, but regardless, each time the niche did have a more clear separation of flavor. I do believe, I can't remember what the first one, what I said there, but um, so there is a difference, of course, which was is, is to be, you know, assumed. Now, whether or not that is a multi-hundred dollar difference is, I guess, more so up to you. I, I really enjoy the niche. It is my favorite conical burr grinder, and this kind of solidified that to an extent. Um, it was not multiple hundred dollars better than the sete, in my opinion. Um, just to be honest, I still... Uh, the clarity that I got, by the way, is relative to conical. If I were to have thrown a flat burr grinder here, the clarity would have been way different. But that, that, that's, that's, a, that's a digression. What you're wanting to know is which one to get between these two. Well, a really, uh, just like all of my videos, it really comes down to what your budget is for coffee things. I think if you have a, a big expendable budget and conical profiles are what you like, I do think it's probably worth shelling out the cash and trying to find a way to get the niche because they're always sold out. But if, if you're not someone that has this big expendable budget, which I think is the majority of us, the sete is incredible. It is still my favorite budget conical grinder, period. It is uh, it blows everything out of the water in a similar price range for a specific conical grinder. Now, neither one of these, in my opinion, does filter well, and that's why I did not test filter. I've never gotten something I liked on a filter coffee from either of these. Uh, but for espresso specific, 
The Sete is an incredible budget grinder, and I hope that you take that into consideration if you're looking around. Uh, you can also do the Sete 30 and buy the kit to convert it into the 270 steps, and it's cheaper than buying the Sete 270, little, little hint there. Um, but yeah, they're both great grinders. Uh, this was a fun test to do, and again, like I said, my camera guy was preferring the 270 profile over the niche. Um, I, I, you know, teach their own kind of thing. You might have one of these and you might prefer the other, or you may have the other. And you know, it, it, long story short, it's teach their own. I don't think one is objectively better than the other necessarily because different people have different flavor preferences. I think that uh, arguably the Sete may have had a little better body, but definitely in my opinion, the niche had a clearer flavor separation each time. Anyway, I hope this helped. I hope this gives you a little bit more insight into these grinders and into whether or not, you know, chasing the, the, the white whale niche is worth it or if getting something like the Sete 270 that has a robust customer service program, especially for people in North America, uh, it might be the preference. I'm gonna end on that note on, you know, it's it's kind of, take, take what you will from this video. Um, I'm gonna be super caffeinated from it. Uh, but anyway, I do appreciate you watching it. Again, hit that like, subscribe, you know, follow along with the silly things that I do. I have a Patreon below in the caption. It uh, would be cool if you if, if I saw you there and we could, you know, dialogue in Discord. It's one of my favorite things to do. I have a cool community building and I give away a lot of stuff uh, and I'll be giving away more and more as the months go on. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been, been a pleasure. I hope you brew something tasty and cheers.